I say Shalom, Kahalayim La, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai. Also give a double honest Elzer GMS and honest Akiyam. And peace and bless you, brothers and sisters that listen. Hope for the lights. Kahalayim La, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai. And do a video today to the Papi Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai and the foolish virgins, man. Have no oil in their lamps, man. No oil, man. Okay? Which means them guys ain't anointed to bring out the truth, man. Now, we just heard what Jenna Rihanna said on, um, which he's of the world, okay? He just has an Israelite garment on, but that guy, he's totally of the world, man. Okay, he's a false prophet. He's a devil in sheep's clothing, man. Okay, he's coming under the guise of a Hebrew Israelite. Like how I said about the Pharisees and Sadducees, man. Okay? See, like the Lord said about them, fact, briefly paraphrase, he said, um, he said, you guys, you're clean on the outside of the cup. But inwardly, you're full of um, excess and extortion, man. You see? And that's basically a lot of these hypocritical leaders, man. I, I U I C G O C C, but especially um, General Yohan and Nate. Because they're the main ones that's on the forefront telling you don't worry about the V. And to take it, he clearly said it out of his own mouth, man. To take it, man. Okay? Foolish, man. Yes, he does not have the oil. He does not have the understanding. All right. The Lord said you guys are full of excess and distortion, man. Just all about getting money out of people. It's all about, you know, much uh, you, like the scripture says, you're trying to add disciples unto yourselves. Instead of adding them into Yahweh Shai, looking for the hopeful elect. Okay. They don't even talk about the one third of the one four four. Okay. It's all about saving Israel. Nah, man. It's all about fattening your pockets, man. You see, that's why the scripture says, um, we get that first precept on the oil first. Before I read that, briefly read that, um, parable. Let me read that precept. I think it's Exodus 30, 29. It says Exodus 30, 29. And thou shalt sanctify them. Let me start up. Exodus chapter 30. All right, this is going into um, Aaron's the priesthood, right? But we all know we're priests now through Yahweh Shai, the great high priest. Verse 7. And Aaron shall burn their sweet incense every morning when he decreased. Dresseth the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. We jump on down. We jump on down to the point. Here we go. It says, And thou shalt make it an oil of holy ointment, an ointment compound after the art of apocryphy. It shall be a holy anointing oil. See, the anointing oil was for the priests and the kings, man. Which that's exactly what Yahweh Bashim al Shah said he's making us into, man. A nation of kings and priests. And thou shalt anoint the tabernacle of the congregation therewith. Right? And anoint means literally to be smeared with oil. And that's what we're supposed to have, man. The oil of understanding. Okay? And the ark of the testimony, and the table, and all its vessels, and the candlestick, and its vessels, and the altar of incense. And also burnt offering with all his vessels, and a lava of his foot. And thou shalt sanctify them, that they may be most holy. Whatsoever touch them shall be holy. And thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them, and they may minister unto me in the priest's office, man. And thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, This shall be in holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations, man. Okay, that anointing oil, right, which we make today. But spiritually, man, that means the Most High chose you, man, to be a minister, to be an ambassador for him, all right, to teach Israel righteousness, man. That's what we're set up to do, man. Okay? Hopefully, the ones we didn't, the anointed ones of the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai was the anointed, okay? He was the Messiah, man. He was the, um, I'm the son of the Most High, man. Okay, that was there to restore all things. 
okay, that perfect vessel. And he set certain men, sanctioned certain men to go out and do the same. You see, but these guys, they don't have the oil. That's why I'm going to read it quick, Matthew 25. Okay, they don't have the oil, man. Matter of fact, let me read it. another law. There's another law. Let me read it. Leviticus chapter 24, verse 2. Let me get to the parable. It says, it's all verse 1. Leviticus 24, 1. And Yehobah Shemel Shah spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, that they may bring unto thee pure olive oil, beaten for the light, to cause the lamps to burn continually, because the lamps can burn unless they had the oil. Man. So let, and that's why Yehobah Shah said, Let your light shine before men, that they may see the works of your father. Okay? The scripture says, They that mention of the make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. Your light or your lamp is supposed to keep burning, man. Okay? And you guys, your light is dim. It's almost out. Okay? Because you've been compromised, man. The gifts blind the eyes of the wise. That's what he's teaching his BS about. Take the V. Take the V. And he's waxing worse and worse. This dude is waxing worse and worse, man. It's obvious, man, that you sold the hell out, man. It's obvious, man. Okay? You doing the bidding of your daddy, the devil. These are the same Pharisees and Sadducees that Yahweh Shah was cursing out. This is why they taught this bogus doctrine earlier this year about John the Baptist saying right. And he's just some nigga who's trying to do his own thing, man. You guys are guilty, man. Okay? You teaching heresy. You teaching rebellion. Now you're telling Jake... To totally sell out and to be down with the image of the beast, to be down with his system. And you, <laughs> basically, they're going to take his mark as well. That scripture says, let me read in Matthew 25 and 1. He said, Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened unto ten virgins, which we know the virgins, you know, the elect, supposed to be that chaste virgin of the Mashiach. And the Mashiach is also the high priest that's joining us back to the Father. All right, but let me read on. It says, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Yahusha, and five of them were wise and five were foolish. The house of David versus the house of Saul. Man. And they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in a vessel with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, because he house shut back in the spiritual realm, they all slumbered and slept. Well, let me hold that. Let's get Luke the 12th chapter. I'm going to jump back. Luke chapter 12. They that drunken and drunken in the night, you know, and they tarry and they slept. You know, he's thinking about what he's going to do in 2021 and going to the beach and have people kissing his boots. And he ain't worried about the kingdom, man. He heard it out of his own mouth. OK, he wants Babylon to keep going. I'm surprised he didn't tell you to vote. He says, Luke 12, 42, he says, I'm going to jump back to Matthew 25. And the Lord said, who then is that faithful and wise steward? Because we're also stewards. OK, he lived, he's like a manager. Supervisor that's in charge of estate, property, the land, people, whom his Lord shall make a rule over his household to give him there the portion of meat in due season, which that time is now. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing, doing what? The work, man. All right. Of a truth I say unto him that he will make him ruler over all that he have, and all things is given to Yahweh Shai. That's in heaven above and earth beneath, except for the Most High himself. Everything else is subject to Yahweh Shai, man. Anyway, it says, But, and if that servant say his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall be, begin to beat the men's servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. So he's drunk, man. And not with wine, like the scripture says, man. He's drunk of the philosophies of this world, man. And the two don't go together. This word and, and the world. Don't go together, man. He's a friend of the world. Whatever master say, just do it. See? And the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour. So they're in a strong delusion. Alright? He is not aware and will cut him his son, then will point him his portion with the non unbelievers. So two thirds gonna be destroyed right along with them. Okay? That wicked servant. Let me jump back to Matthew 25 now.
it says. Um, While the bridegroom tarried, Matthew 25 and 5, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Which we know the night, in this day and time, is that when that great persecution happened, Jacob's trouble, which we in the beginning of. Okay, when that new world order is in full effect. In midnight, Yahweh Shai going to come and ruin it. And we know the daytime is the kingdom. All right? Joy cometh in the morning. At midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go we out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, which brothers is doing that right now from the elders on down. Trimming our lamps, man. Make sure the doctrine is right. Make sure we do what we have to do. You know, like the Lord said, feed my sheep, feed my lamb, feed my sheep. You know, things that's in your flesh that's not right. You're trying to cut it off. That's you trimming your lamp. You're being circumspect of the times that you're in. Okay? Clamping down. All right? And the foolish said unto the wise, give us your oil for our lamps are gone out. And a lot of them dudes in them camps too. A lot of them dudes going to jump ship. When shit really hit the fan, man. And he said that this guy has been deceiving him. A lot of them going to try to jump ship, but it's going to be too late for a lot of y'all too, man. Okay? Especially also you guys who fell out this thing. He's going to try to put your garment back on it. Try to get in contact with brothers, man. But it's too late. Try to get the oil again. It's too late, man. But the wise answer saying, not so, lest there be enough for us and for you. Go we rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Work out your own salvation. We can't help you in that time. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they were ready, went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. It says, afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Yahweh Shai, O Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not, because you wasn't trimming your lamps. Okay? You wasn't trimming your lamps. So it says you were drunken, you were slept, you slumbered. Okay? Because if your lamps was, you trimming your lamp and you was uh, truly doing what the Lord told you to do, you will be occupied in what? Prophecy. I'm going to read it right now. Why would you be occupied in prophecy? Because let me get Revelation 19.9. I'm going to read Sirach after this. Straight to the point, man. Call on him, lie, how about Shemel? Shai, showing you who he's dealing with. It's certainly not you guys. Revelation 19 and 9. But he said unto me, Write, Blessed are they which called unto the marriage of the sub of the Lamb. Like the virgins. We're being called unto the marriage. Join back to our Heavenly Father through our big brother, Yahweh Shai. Okay? The great reunion, man. It says, And he said unto me, These are the true saints of the Most High, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou it do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren, and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Man. Okay? The spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You're supposed to be warning, blowing the trumpet, shaking the hand, man. Okay, prophesying to the wind, which they don't even go out no more on the streets. He's too big for that. They only make guest appearances, man. Okay, too big to go out there and look like a fool for the Masha Yak, man. Just sitting down collecting. And you're waxing worse and worse. That scripture says, Sirach 39 and 1. It says... Sirach 39 and 1. So that he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. So we're supposed to right now, prophecy is the top subject matter, the most important. Because we in the time right now. Okay, you can't put off the evil day, you can't quench the spirit, man. By teaching lies, are you trying to block the kingdom of heaven? Okay, and you're making yourself look dumb and more and more dumb, man. Right, the Most High is casting you down in the midst of the congregation. Okay. In fact, where your house shot to one of the seven churches? He said, 
unto the angel of the church of the Lacedonians write, These things saith, Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of the Most High. I know thy works, that thou neither cold nor hot. I would rather, I would, art thou cold or hot? So the Lord said, I'd rather you be in this or don't be in it at all, man. I'd rather you have the right doctrine and preach the truth or just don't be in this at all, man. Because you're just so in confusion. So then, because thou art lukewarm, so a lot of them may know the name, quote unquote, um, you know, teaching the commandments of high holy days, they go out when they feel like it. Okay, that means you're lukewarm, all right? You're not totally fervent. You're not fully persuaded in your own mind. Neither would thou call all hot. I will spew thee out of my mouth, but cast you down. Because thou saying, I am rich and increased with goods and have no need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wrenched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, exposed. And I counsel to buy me gold tried in the fire. That thou mayest be rich and white raiment and thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thy eyes with eye salves that thou mayest see. And we can see clearly what time period we in, man. Because hopefully, Lord willing, we're anointed and we're chosen if we endure. But this dude, <laughs> these guys, <laughs> man, they, they getting worse, man. Okay? They getting worse, man. This guy <laughs> took that bag, boy. Okay? And your salvation is on the line. Especially people who listen to him. You're leading your congregation down a one trip to destruction, man. One way trip to destruction, man. Okay. You hand him over. You handing him over to the beast. Instead of handing him over to Yahweh Shai, man. Let me read this precept here. So they don't got no oil, they don't got no understanding. Most high is marking you. Okay, we're marking you to the spirit, man. You have to mark those who are causing division. Because people are looking at multiple videos and then you telling them, go ahead and take it. And a lot of people are going to take it because they trust in you. But anyway, let me close it out this scripture here. Just wanted to do a quick lesson to probably out by Shemel Shah. It's unbelievable um, how worse these guys are getting. And we're so close. Second Ezra 14 23. And he ants, he have turned the waters into saltness, and so shall the heathen inherit his wrath. And his ways are plain unto the holy. Oh no, this is the wrong one. But that's a good scripture though. But stumbling blocks unto the wicked. I think the second Ezra's. Let me see. So the Lord told Ezra's man. So Ezra 14, 23, but he answered me saying, go thy way, gather the people and say to them that seek thee for 40 days. But look thou, prepare thee many box trees and take with thee Saria, different herbs, the Bria, Selamina, Echinus, and Eziel, these five which are ready to write swiftly and come hither and I shall give, I shall light a candle of understanding in thine heart. Because Ezra's had the oil, man. Which shall not be put out till the things be performed, which thou shalt write. No, no, let me read that again. And I will come hither, and I shall light a candle of understanding in thy heart. Okay? And that happens like um, when the Lord starts supping with you. Okay, you receive the word, and you fully persuade in your own mind. And as you study, you eat the roll, the Lord brings you to glory to glory. Which shall not be put out. So that understanding of that candle cannot be put out if you endure. Till the things be performed which thou shall begin to write. Okay? So when um, Ezra wrote these prophecies as we're reading, it's now published, we're bringing it out. And it makes more sense now because we're in the time where those things are taking place. It's a great insurrection against the people of the Lord. You got wicked ass niggas like General Yohanna, Nate, leading you, like the scripture says, sheep's leading sheep to be destroyed, man. Okay, when you're supposed to be safeguarding them and bringing out the right doctrine and bringing out the truth. You see? 
I stripped the seven, you get that first Timothy 4 and 16, and I'm gonna close it out. That's the last precept. First Timothy 4 16, it says, Take heed unto yourself, man. Take heed unto yourself, man. It's a severe warning of caution. It says, Take heed to yourself and unto the doctrine, continuing them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. That's why the doctrine is important. Because we all got to teach the same thing in righteousness, man. See? So that's pretty hot, but you know, I was just doing a quick video of marking these men, man. These are wicked satanic men, man. All right? But that would say, call lame, lie, hot, but you know, shalom.